So today we've come to the Taiwan Indigenous Peoples Culture Park. We don't really know what to expect, but we will go and uh, check it out. Uh, we know that there is some cultural dancing and stuff, uh, but not really sure what else. So yeah, we will go and suss it out. Sadly, some of the exhibits are under reconstruction. The whole bottom floor here is under reconstruction, but they said that the second floor is available to go and have a look at. I'm not sure what's up there, but uh, we'll go and check it out. They believed that uh, the origin of life comes from clay pots. So they would put millet seed and rice seed and everything in these clay pots and then pray over them for a good harvest and good growing time. The uh, indigenous cultural center goes all the way up into the mountains here. Uh, this is the bus stop. Don't know what time the buses go or anything at this stage, but uh, yeah. Bus stop looks pretty cool, hey. Just over here is the suspension bridge. We'll go and have a look at that. We just caught the bus up a little bit. Um, we don't know anything about where we're going or what we're seeing or anything like that. But we're currently at Paiwan. And uh, up in the mountains over here, you can see a cracker of a waterfall. Really nice. There's supposed to be a viewing platform down over the edge over here somewhere, so we're gonna go and have a look at that. These are some of the traditional homes of the indigenous people. This one would have been the home of the tribal chief. You can see a nice big spacious veranda area out here. The houses are made with stone, slate, you can see the slate roof. Uh, there's a big timber carved section and big timber door, but uh, everything else is cut with stone. We decided that since it was mostly downhill, we would wander down the road. If we should be walking down that path there, Jen. Yeah, maybe we should. We're gonna go for a wander down this path just here. So we decided that we'd wander down the road um, because it was mostly downhill to the next uh, kind of town area um, instead of catching the bus. So. Forgive the construction noise, but I just thought I'd show you this, uh, this statue here. It's very cool. Um, it's called Ultimate Belief. Ultimate Belief. <laughs> very cool. So we've just come into the Nalawan Theatre, and uh, this is where the cultural dance uh, is done here in the theatre. Unfortunately we weren't allowed to do any photos or videos of the dancers and the singing but uh, it was quite interesting. This is just down at the visitor's centre and uh, we've seen a couple of really big suspension bridges which uh, we're going to go have a, have a squeeze, see if we can find them. Well, we just found one of the suspension bridges. This is the one that's really high. It's uh, 200, about 243, sorry, 263 metres long. This one. And it stretches out over the valley here and uh, cost us $50 each across so we're gonna go and have a look 
stretching out across the valley over the river here. There is another one. The other one is over here. You might be able to see it over there. It's falling apart, the old one. So maybe a good thing that we're not walking along on it. This one here looks pretty solid and sturdy. You can see the traffic bridges and the river down here, making an interesting pattern down through the valley there. And there's been a bit of a rock slide over there. I bet that house was a little bit concerned. And this side here, the river coming down from the mountains up over there. There's a grate just there under my feet. And you can see the water running in the river. It's not particularly clean, it's dirty, muddy looking colour. But uh, yeah, I quite like the fact that the gate is there. You can walk on it. Creak you out maybe a little bit. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the old bridge over there. Um, or what's left of it with uh, not so much in the way of uh, planks or steel, steel boards. Um, there's a number of them missing, so yeah. Good thing we're on this one here. 